Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to make this doily or sauce plate. Um, in this video I made this one with you, but it <laughs> became so big. That was the first time uh, I tried this pattern and I didn't know the uh, measurements. So, uh, if I if you try the uh, fabric yarn uh, with this pattern, you can easily have an um, rug, <laughs> I think, and uh, uh, I can use this as a table cloth. <laughs> it's so big. For this one, I use Boston Sun Classic for um, two uh, balls of yarn one of them is 100 meters 109 yards and it's size 5 yarn bulky yarn it recommends a 7 or 8 millimeter crochet hook but I used 5 millimeter but I say I don't recommend this. Uh, I do not recommend this yarn because uh, it's so big. Uh, and um, I try it one more time with a size four worsted weight yarn, and I made one more change. You see here. I don't like this um, chain uh, numbers. It uh, doesn't look good. You see? It's not too important, but I don't like it. So I changed it here. I made one, one, one chains, then two chains, two chains, then three chains and then five chains. I will uh, write them somewhere here in the video. Okay, just look here. Only change here. Didn't change anything uh, for here. And uh, for this one, I used Alice Cotton Gold Plus. I really like this yarn. Maybe you know if you watch my other videos. Uh, if you couldn't find this yarn, you can use Yarn Art Jeans Plus. It's same yarn, almost same. And let me look. It says it's size 3 yarn, but I don't think so. Because it's a thick yarn. Okay. I think it's a size 4 yarn, but I'm not sure. Of course, I'm not an expert. And it recommends 5mm hook. I used four millimeter I'm not sure if you can see yeah one of them is 100 grams 200 meters 361 yards and I use less than one ball of yarn for this okay 300 meters is fairly enough uh, for this soup lab and uh, it's all uh, you can try size 4 or size 3 cotton I will give you the measurements too I can measure it from here to there it's 40 centimeters 16 inches long 
and I hope you like it. Amanda, you asked for a supla and I made it for you. Uh, I hope you all like this. Uh, if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. I will start with a magic ring. Just wrap the yarn around your fingers. Insert hook from here and grab this yarn. And take the same yarn, make a single crochet. Chain one more if you count this one as a chain of or you can make one more chain okay it's enough I think uh, yarn over insert here grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that's a double crochet that's my first double crochet don't count this as a double crochet Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and make ten more. Totally eighteen double crochets. 16, 17, and 18. I'll count one more time. Yes, it's 18. Just close this magic ring. As you can. Insert your hook into this first stitch, join with a slip stitch. If you want to close here nicely, you can use this tail too when you, are, uh, you join. You can use it too. It's a little hard to use cotton yarn. I know I said this before. I will just repeat my last double crochet. Join from here. Take both yarns. Make a slip stitch and leave this one. Chain two. We will not count this chain two uh, as a double crochet or something like that for all the uh, rows. Insert into this same stitch here. Make two double crochets. One, two, into the next stitch, make one double crochet, into the next, make two. Chain one, into the next stitch, make two double crochets. Into the next, make one. Into the next, make two. Chain 
chain one into the next stitch make two double crochets make one double crochet two double crochets chain one make two one two chain one and make it two more times I see at the end of the row I'm at the end of the row I made a a chain here and join from this first stitch chain 2 now the word and insert into the same stitch make two double crochets one two into this next three stitches make only one double crochets one two three and into this last stitch make two we will make two into the first and two into the last stitch between these two make a only one double crochet okay into every stitch you have then chain two repeat the same thing make two double crochets make one two three double crochets in a row and then make two double crochets into same stitch chain two repeat this uh, i'll see you at the end of the row i complete the row make two chains and join with a slip stitch from the first stitch again chain two and make two double crochets into same place and now we have one two three four five double crochets between last and first double crochets and make five double crochets in a row two three four five and into the next make two chain three make two make five double crochets in a row make two double crochets into last stitch and chain three you will finish this row like that i will make my last four uh, three chains and join chain two make two double crochets and make one two three four five six seven double crochets in a row
make two double crochets into the last stitch chain four and repeat here make two in the same place make seven double crochets here and for the last one make two again that this row repeats uh, finish this row chain two make two double crochets make one two three four five six seven eight nine double crochets in a row Six, seven, eight, and nine. Into the last stitch, make two. Chain five. And starting from the first stitch, make two. make nine and into the last stitch make two complete this row for the next row start with chain two make two double crochets and 11 double crochets in a row one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven and make two double crochets into the last stitch chain six make two double crochet into the first stitch and repeat here and fix this uh, piece with your hands while you're making this we call this hand ironing um just use your hands okay uh, make this row and see you turn from first stitch chain two and this time make only one double crochet here Make 13 double crochet in a row and into this last stitch make one more 14 and with this one it will be totally 15. That's one, two, four, five, six. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Chain seven. And repeat this make 15 chain 7 15 and complete this row uh, with this way chain 2 now we will make decreases starting from here yarn over insert into this first stitch yarn over pull through from 2 and leave this like that Okay, don't complete double crochet 
Yarn over. Insert into the next stitch, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. I have three loops. Yarn over and pull through from all these loops. There's a decrease. Two double crochet together. I will make 13 double crochets. One, two, ten, and eleven. Sorry, I said thirteen, but uh, I will make eleven. Okay, uh, make eleven, and for this last two, we will make a decrease again. Make half of a double, insert into the next stitch, make half of a double, complete together. Chain two. <laughs> My cat is crying. I'm just coming, okay? I will open the door. Come. I have seven double curtains. I have seven chains here. Hi. Hi, honey. Sit. Okay, sit here. Welcome. I will skip one, two, three, and into the fourth chain, insert. Make a double crochet. Chain one. Into the same place. Make a double crochet. Chain one. Into the same place. Make a double crochet. Chain one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Make a double crochet again, chain one, one more, chain one, and one more. I made two, four, six double crochet separated with one chains. Then chain two, make a decrease here, make eleven double crochets, sorry. Make a decrease, make half of a double, insert into the next one, make one more, and complete together. Chain two, insert into the fourth chain, make a double, chain one, double, chain one. Double, chain one, one, two, three, four, five, chain one, six, chain two, and make it decrease, make eleven double crochet a decrease, and repeat here. See you at the end. Chain two and join from the first stitch. 
chain two. I will make a, a decrease again, starting from here. Make a half of a double. Make one more. Close together. And make one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and nine. Make it decrease again. Make half. Make one more. Complete together. Chain two. And here we will make two double crochets into this one chain spaces. Insert here, make two double crochet. Chain one into the next one, make two. Chain one into the next chain one space, make two. Chain one, next one, make two. And chain one, make two more. I totally make five two double crochets separated with one chain. You can make two chain if you want. Here, chain two. If it looks too tight for you, here, make two chains. And make a decrease make nine double crochets and a decrease and make the same thing here just repeat this i complete this row two chain two and make it decrease again make double crochets i think it's seven this time one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Make a decrease. Chain two. And here, this time, we will make a totally four double crochet for these two double crochet stitches. Insert into the first one, make two double crochets. Insert into the next and make two double crochets. Then chain one. If you made two chains here, you can make two here too. And into the first stitch, make two double crochets. Into the next one, make two double crochets. Chain one. Two double. Two doubles. Chain one. Two, two, chain one, two, then chain two, start with a decrease. 
I want to show you here. I have one, two, three, four, one uh, chain spaces and one, two, three, four, five, uh, four double crochet sets. Complete this row like that. Chain two, make it decrease. Make five double crochets. Make a decrease. Chain two. And here we will repeat this row. Make the same things. Make one two, three, four double crochets. It's actually not the same thing we did here, but we will put one double crochet into every stitch and totally have uh, four double crochets. Chain one, make four double crochets. three, four, chain one, four double crochets, chain one, four double crochets, Chain one, four double crochets. Chain two, and make it decrease. Make five double crochets and one more decrease. Again, if it's too tight, it looks too stiff here you can make two chains here and complete this row we are almost finishing this um, supla we have uh, three more rows make a decrease and three double crochets A decrease chain two make one two double crochets one chain one and two double crochets one chain one two double crochets, a chain, two double crochets again. Make a chain, two double, a chain and two double, a chain make a chain one two double chain two doubles and for the last time make a chain make two doubles chain two Make it decrease three double crochets, and a decrease. Complete this row, chain two, start with a decrease. 
make it double crochet make one more decrease chain two and make two double crochets one two and here chain two into the next stitch make one and into the next stitch make one double crochet here chain only one make two double crochets chain two make two double crochets chain one make two double crochets chain two make two double crochets chain one two double chain two two doubles chain one two doubles chain two two doubles chain two and make it decrease make a double crochet and a decrease I want to show you here you want you can make three chains here it's up to you again you see these lines you will uh, keep the same chain number if you made two from here you can make two here I made one and I will keep it make one and one and one but between these two lines we separate these two double crochets sets with two chains okay just complete this row and that's the last row chain two we will make three double crochet together this time one two and three half I have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through from all of them chain two and make a single crochet here okay and into this two chain space I will make eight double crochets insert here one two three four five six seven and eight in this J1 space make a single crochet into the next chain 2 space make 8 double crochets 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 make a single make eight more into the next chain two space a single crochet I will make two more That's the first. Make 
make a single and eight. Six, seven, and eight. Make a single crochet, chain two, make three double crochets together, chain two, make a single crochet here. And make eight double crochets, single crochet, eight double crochets, single crochets, complete uh, this row. I'm at the end, chain two, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and cut the yarn. Now hide this tail. I will use the back side of this needle or I can try this. This yarn is so much strands so it's a little hard to insert it. Okay. And opposite side. That's it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Shirin's Crochet is my Instagram address. You can reach me there. And it's also my website and Pinterest address too. Please take a look at that. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.